And we're back with more Cthulhu Saves the World. Oh good, she loves her town. We're going to finish talking to these townspeople, and then we're going to attempt to go save a little puppy for that boy. Oh, he loves her. And she loves him. Oh, he loves her more. She loves him more. Oh, true love. Isn't it wonderful? True love? Bah. How old are these kids? Five? That's right, Cthulhu. Oh, look. This store sells cups. Oh, apparently not cups. What do you got to say for yourself? You wish to be a hero? Go to the shrine of the heroes to the east. I will do that because I do wish to be a hero. What about you? There's a crazy old man at the edge of town who just repeats gibberish. Here he's a member of an ancient cult that worships... I. Hey! I'm an ancient false god. He worships me. Good to hear. I still have followers. Awesome. Have you heard about the horrible monster? Yes, it's me. It's me. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm here to kill you. Whoa. Here's a $1 million gold bounty. Whoever managed... To only a million? Surely I'm worth a gazillion gold. You know, Cthulhu, I agree with you. You are worth so much more. Welcome to my cafe. It's the perfect place to relax. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like those triplets we killed were just in here. Let's not mention that we killed them. Books on things to eat and utensils to cook with. What a place full of joy. Lots of things to steal. What else we got here? What's this guy doing? Are you peeing in the bushes? Students at Miskatonic University are quite cute this year, don't you agree? Nope, you're being even weirder than peeing in the bushes. You're spying on little kids. I'm calling Dateline. Chris Hansen will have something to say to you, sir. He'll tell you to, why don't you come in and sit down and have a cookie and talk. I hope you've seen that show. Let's go talk to this puppy. This couldn't possibly be the puppy, is it? Cthulhu the dog. This dog appears to have the same name as Cthulhu. How odd. Why is that odd? My dog was named Cthulhu. I don't think that was odd. Some people thought it was odd, but I liked it. Welcome to Miskatonic University. Our doors are open. Okay, let's head on in then. Oh, it's a school. What does this place have to teach us? Uh, you're probably a teacher. You're entering lesson norm. Know your stats. Oh, this is just stuff about playing the game, which I already know. What about you? I sent a researcher to the old city of Innsmouth to investigate the strange look of the people who live there, but he hasn't come back. I hope they didn't do anything to him. Well, that is a reference to an awesome H.P. Lovecraft story called The Shadow Over Innsmouth. Uh, you need to, if, you, if you're playing this game and you haven't read the H.P. Lovecraft stories, please do. Do not base your knowledge of Lovecraft off of South Park or off of any other thing than H.P. Lovecraft. All the other stuff is great, don't get me wrong, and it adds to it. The movies they made of it, um, it it's all wonderful. But read the original stories. The Shadow Over Mitten's Mouth is one of the best H.P. Lovecraft stories. It's basically one long chase scene. Ooh, it's the inn. Do you know how I know that? Because it says inn. Don't mind if I do. But it's this great chase scene, and the main character is being chased all over town by these monsters, and it's really horrifying. Uh, and I love it. I straight up love it. And by the way, that poor guy's researcher is either dead or he's been raped by fishes. That's right, folks. Raped by fishes. Ever since the bridge broke, we haven't heard anything from the people in Dunwich. I wonder what's happening there. Dunwich. Oh, Lord. The Dunwich Terror is another good story you guys should read. Free room and board. I'll take that. Save. Dunwich Terror is all about a uh, hideous monster, wouldn't you know? H.P. Lovecraft writing about hideous monsters? Surprise. Beware the dreaded belt man. Boost stats. Defeat him quickly. Well, there is no H.P. Lovecraft belt man story, I can tell you that. At least I don't think there is. But uh, Dunwich, Dunwich Terror is pretty good, too. It has a lot of um, Necronomicon info in it. So if you're interested in the whole Necronomicon side of the H.P. Lovecraft stories, uh, the... Dunwich Horror is a good place to start. Hi, little girl. Ah, get out of my room, you horrible monster. <laughs> I've still got it. Well, good. Somebody's afraid of me. Certainly wasn't anybody else, it seemed like. And I see a treasure chest, which means I'm going to steal stuff from it. What does this book have? Eh, nothing. Keep going. We'll go back down the stairs, and I believe this is pretty much everything, so we can head out of town and head over to the mountain pass. Whoops door. Go through the door. You can't go through the wall. 
Yeah, if, if you guys are playing this and you really haven't experienced anything else Lovecraft, especially if you've been sticking to kind of the funny side, the cute side of Lovecraft, and there's a lot of that. People love to cute up the Lovecraft. You know, get into some of the real scary stuff. On Steam, there's a game called Dark, Dark Corners of the Earth. Is that right? I think it's called Dark Corners of the Earth. Um, and it's really scary. I mean, uh-oh, he's saying the magic Cthulhu words. I'm not sleeping anymore. Good. But it's really scary. I mean, a lot of people talk about Penumbra and and, uh, and the games like that, but I would say Dark Corners of the Earth was one of the original scary to pants off games. It's based off of Shadows Over Innsmouth, so it really grabs that story, especially the chase scenes are really thrilling. So we're going to head up to that mountain pass, and we're going to go get that puppy saved. Oh, we're heading into some hills. I think that must be hills. I hope it's not dead leaves. Big old giant pass of dead leaves. What do we got here? Whoa, punk rockers. Can't tell if that's an eyeball and a blue nose or if they just got their head twisted sideways. I think their head's twisted sideways. All right, let's insane attack then. I've got 72 health, so it doesn't seem too bad. The hair is the source of their power. Too bad I don't have any shears. And you, my dear, give them a siren's call. How much did they hit for? 20? 16? Oh, but they die quick. Wow, they die quick. Well, that's probably a good thing. All right, let's get another attack on them. Let me, you do the same. Yeah, Cthulhu can knock them down. Umi's not exactly as strong. But Cthulhu... Yeah, with a 50 point, he can knock him down. Okay, that's not too bad. On we go. As you can see, what is this called? The Ninja Burial Ground. I wonder if we'll run into a ghost ninja. <laughs> this is just another dungeon that looks just like the cave we were in before, but it's gray. So I'm going to hightail it straight up. You just want to go straight up, basically. There are no secret chests in here. What's this? Ghosts and snakes. Dead ghosts and snakes. Just the way I like them. So let's keep moving up. Up is the way to go. Because this is a bit of a maze, but there's lots of dead ends and no treasure chest. You can go all over this place and not find a treasure chest. But right up here <gasps> is the puppy. Hello, puppy. This must be Shane. Come on, boy. Let's get you home. Halt! This dog has despoiled this sacred burial ground with its digging for bones. It must atone by dying. That's kind of creepy. No, don't worry, boy. We'll protect you. Oh, Umi. Yeah, I'm not going to bark like a dog. I'm sorry, game. That just ain't going to happen. Okay, so we got a boss fight with a ninja spirit. Any game with a ghost ninja? It's all right by me. Could somebody please come up with a game called Ghost Ninjas? I'd play it. All right, first off, let's get him insane. See how that works. Insane is pretty nice, but sometimes it works against you. Get the sirens call. Let's get him stunned. Ooh, jeez. 21 hits of damage for both of us. He's insane. And 80 points of damage. That's, that's pretty good. All right. So let's get an attack on him. What does he got? He's got a lot of health. You know what? Let's use Flame Strike. And Umi. See if you can blind him. But he's stunned. You resist the blindness. Whew, 249 damage. Flame Strike is the way to go, people. Flame away. Kill it with fire, as they say. Kill it with fire. Alright, cool. Umi. What do you need to do this one? Just attack. You should be good. Yes. That is awesome. I think, he, I think Umi should be able to make it. I hope. Heal yourself, Umi, if you make it. He did. Wow, dead ninja. That is one dead ghost ninja. Okay, so for the ghost ninja, go with your gut. Use fire. I don't know why that would be your gut. Although sometimes I think when I see ghosts, I think kill it with fire. That's just in general how I work. Sweet, Cthulhu leveled up, level 9. Gotta love that. Let's see, you can choose between Nightfall and Curse. Nightfall, all enemies, adds insanity. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we're going with Nightfall. I'll take that. And Umi is level 9. Okay, so we got full heal. 
Targets one ally, restores all hit points, revive, and cure combo reset. Or add cure, passive ability. Heal spells also cure ailments. Oh boy, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna add cure. I like that. I have a feeling we'll be getting some ailments. Yay, we won! Where did Shane go? I hope he's okay. I'm sure the dog just ran off back to its master. Let's head back! Cthulhu, I could not agree more. Damn punkers. Dead punkers. Cthulhu doesn't like punks. He says, get off my lawn. Alright, I'm going to just head back into town, and I will pick up there. If I run into anything interesting on the way back, I'll make sure I catch it. And we're back in town, and it's time to go tell a little boy that his puppy is safe. Well, apparently he already knows. You rescued Shane. Please, take this. It belonged to my grandfather. You gained the trance sword. Oh, that sounds cool. And Cthulhu became more heroic. Dude, Cthulhu is heroic as it is. Alright, let's take a look at this trance sword. So, right now I've got strength plus 60, magic plus 20, vitality plus 30. Strength plus 10, meh. Ooh, magic plus 60, agility plus 40, willpower plus 20. Okay, so this sword is very helpful for your magical slash mental abilities, it looks like. And probably, I would assume agility would be hitting better, too. So that's good. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to equip it yet, but I am definitely going to keep it. Uh, yeah, definitely going to keep it. All right, so our next step is to save at the end. Just like every other RPG, you always hit the end. Save. Excellent. And I'm going to head back out of town, and I'm going to end it there. And then on our next video, we will be... Oh, okay, we're going to head over to the east. Over by that lake you can see on the east there is the tower we're trying to get to where the challenge for heroics is. I am going to spend some time uh, leveling up in between then. I'm going to do some leveling. I am feeling like I'm kind of right on the cusp of being able to handle the monsters and also being killed by it. Uh, I was killed once... Uh, inside the, the puppy dungeon off screen of course so I'm gonna do some grinding when we come back we're gonna head across the fields into the tower and we'll explore the tower together so I'll see you guys then I hope you're enjoying this I'm having a ton of fun and I hope you guys are enjoying it don't forget to check out my deus ex videos and my zombie ate my neighbors videos uh, especially the zombie ate my neighbors if you're into these old school games I think you guys will really like that so until next time you guys be excellent to each other, and I'll see you then.